In the previous video, I demonstrated uh, that by using a pencil and a clock spring or a razor blade, it's possible to make a detector for a for a homebrew crystal set, the sort of thing that they would have used in World War Two in a prison camp to receive the news, as it were, from the BBC. Um, if he was very, very lucky, you might have uh, had a crashed airman in the camp who, before his plane caught fire and exploded on the ground, he managed to get in his spares box and grab a few of these. These are radio valves specifically made for the RAF. They work on two volts, which is really, really good for what we're going to try and do. Here we had this uh, radio that we built earlier. Originally used a razor blade, pencil or a clock spring as the uh, improvised diode. But um, that's not a terribly efficient way of uh, rectifying a signal, so in this setup as you can see, we've got one of those valves mounted on a piece of uh, beach there to make the valve holder. And if I shield, see so I've got it connected to a two and a half volts there, which is um, if I shield that successfully, you can see the old valve glow in there reason reasonably good. And what's happening there? The electrons are flying off that filament, which is red hot in a vacuum and they are landing on, as you can see, on the outside there's some metal grids and the electrons can only flow into those grids through the vacuum in one direction so what actually is uh, happening there the signal electronically is being rectified it's not being amplified because the valve's only being used on a low tension format uh, via probably a 2 or a 3 volt supply and it's um, acting as a diode and it does the job really, really efficiently. So while we're smuggling into a prison camp, if you uh, if you can secrete it on your body, let's just say it's a VR21, which works off two volts. You can see them glow in there. Look. If I put them up to the headset, which uh, again would have been smuggled in in parts, this one uh, is a British 1920s brand superior, um, BBC approved. And if I, um, if you listen very carefully, you should be able to hear the signal. It's, it's really coming through quite clearly. There we go. It's quite surprising from a few red readily available parts that can be obtained in a in a prison of war camp that they would have been able to have built a very effective radio receiver. It would have collected uh, radio frequencies on the medium wave band. As you can see, it would work down to one volt, so you don't even need any of those fancy energizer batteries. One of these would have done an old torch battery. I had that one in circuit earlier and it worked very very well considering how old it was. Um, and again the coil the coil you could have just experimented but 120 turns gets a, a very good very good medium wave band. Hope you found it really interesting and um, I enjoyed building it. Thank you.